When boyhood games of follow the leader become reality, you have no choice but to learn the art of looking. In war, your eyes can be more powerful than any weapon the army issues. It's no coincidence we found Joseph Brennan in a field looking up. Ever since I was little, I wanted to join the military. Spread it out some. All his life, Joseph has been looking up, right. wanting to be like his cousin, Josh Brennan. Yeah, Josh, you can tell the people that are different. Uh, he was very friendly. I mean, he could get along with anyone. He, would, he loved talking to new people. He loved meeting new people. It's, he was a good guy. A good guy. He was a good guy. Decorated with two bronze stars, two purple hearts, and a war story that made national headlines. They walked into an ambush. I mean, Josh was the first one to get hit. October 26, 2007. Josh died of wounds sustained in the ambush that took one more of his brothers in arms and wounded another. Taliban actually had hold of Josh and were taking him away. That's when Sal when saved Josh's body when, from the Taliban. The world knows Sal Junta as the first living soldier to be awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor since Vietnam. He earned the award for his actions that night in the Korangal Valley. Joseph was there for the ceremony. To see Sal get awarded for his actions that day was a huge relief for me and our families. It just makes us feel better that they didn't just, you know, forget about Josh or forget about Sal. Joseph didn't forget either. A man trained in concrete work came up with a plan set in stone. At 19 years old, he followed his heart by following his cousin. At that time, it was such a shock. I didn't even know what kind of feelings I was feeling at the time. And then that's when it really hit me. It's like, I want to do something. So I joined the military and I wanted to follow in his footsteps. He followed those footsteps right into the airborne infantry. Right after airborne school, went straight to Italy. That alone was awesome, just to be in the same unit and see what he did on a daily basis. Um, As Sal Junta explained in an interview before he left the military, Joseph continued down Josh's path even after joining the 173rd Airborne in Italy. Came to Battle Company, same company that his cousin was in. Came to 1st Platoon, same platoon that his cousin was in. Serving in Weapons Squad, which his cousin served in Weapons Squad, the first deployment under Staff Sergeant Gallardo, who is the same squad leader that his cousin had. It was difficult for a lot of people. I mean, every time they would say my name, they would think automatically Josh. It took time, and I'm glad to be friends with all of them right now. <laughs> the path Joseph had chosen only became steeper when he deployed to Afghanistan in 2010 and landed in Kunar province, the same region where Josh spent his final days. It's there that the trail Joseph was following nearly went cold. We were on one hilltop, and the rest of our platoon was on another. Possible indirect, and we received um, heavy contact. I mean, they got within, I'd say, 15 to 25 meters of us, and no one had any rounds left. The only parts I remember was my team leader at the time telling me I need ammo, and I remember looking back, and our ammo bags were about 35 meters away from us. So I picked up. This time we're still taking fire from the draw and also from a hilltop from another machine gun. So I ran 30 meters, picked up the ammo, turned around, ran it back, made two more trips, kept the gun shooting, you know, to keep the enemy off of us. And I just remember getting back, sitting at the picnic table and thinking that was the scariest moment of my life. Ask any soldier and they'll tell you they don't do it for the glory. For my actions, I eventually got the, the award. And here's yeah. proof. I think it was an Archon with a V. The Army Commendation Medal for Valor, awarded to those who've distinguished themselves in combat, Under. like Josh and Sal. Yeah. Joseph is too humble to picture his name there. They, they're on a totally different list, I mean. <laughs> a man experienced at the art of looking up. It's definitely something we're proud of. Still is. I'm sure Josh is up there now and smiling down. For US Army Europe, Jesse Granger, Hohenfels. Germany.